From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. In their own way, outbreaks of disease have shaped the course of human history. One of the earliest occurred in 430 BC, when typhoid fever killed roughly 25% of Athenian troops and civilians in the plague of Athens. The infamous Black Death killed an estimated 75 million people, reducing England's population by 50% in 1370 AD. European colonists triggered massive epidemics of measles, smallpox, and influenza when they encountered New World natives who had never been exposed to these diseases. These are only a few examples of the profound impact a disease can have on the human population. Luckily for our species, someone has always managed to survive. Limiting factors such as geography, public health policy, medical treatment, and quarantines make it very difficult for the diseases of the past to spread across the world unchecked. But to some concerned observers, it's not the natural diseases that we have to worry about. Here's where it gets crazy. The odds are relatively slim that an ordinary disease caused by a virus or bacteria could overwhelm the human species, but man-made diseases are a different story. Conspiracy theories about man-made diseases aren't new, and there's a grain of truth behind them. During World War II, multiple countries worked on weaponizing smallpox, modifying the existing disease for a higher rate of infection and mortality. In the 1970s, in Soviet Russia, an outbreak of weaponized smallpox occurred at a testing facility in the Aral Sea. Soviet officials closed the nearby transportation networks to prevent the disease from spreading. Today, smallpox has been eradicated in the wild and exists only in research laboratories and epidemiological centers such as the CDC. Scholars, scientists, and the public still debate about how much smallpox should be kept in the world given its historically catastrophic potential for harm. Influenza is another disease with particularly nasty potential. The Spanish influenza killed an estimated 50 million people, and for the past 300 years there have been a few influenza pandemics each century, as recently as 2009. Influenza keeps returning to the human population because when new strains of this disease emerge, these newer strains aren't affected by the immunity people or animals may have to older strains of flu. The infectious aspect of smallpox, influenza, plague, and other diseases is key. To cause an epidemic or outbreak, a disease must first be infectious. The methods of infection may vary. For example, plague is caused by a bacterium called Yersinia pestis, and it spreads through animal population via fleas. Epidemiologists, scientists who research how diseases spread, have made great strides in modeling the propagation of some conditions. While humanity hasn't halted regional outbreaks of disease, vaccines, preventative care, and public health policy have all made it much more difficult for an epidemic to expand on a global scale. In the modern age, international travel is available to an unprecedented number of people, and Earth's skyrocketing population virtually guarantees areas of ever more densely populated, unhygienic conditions that create the perfect breeding ground for new and dangerous diseases. And, while there is no solid proof of a man-made contagion capable of obliterating humanity, there's evidence that new Numerous countries have experimented with biological weapons, breeding naturally occurring diseases to even more lethal levels. For skeptics, this is only research. Dangerous, perhaps, but necessary if humanity wants to win the war against disease. For others, however, the veil of secrecy surrounding these projects is evidence of something they don't want you to know.